Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do this quick natural eye. So smile and let's have some fun, honey. First things first, prime your lid with a concealer or a shadow primer and then blend it out. What I'm using is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. I'm going to grab a Morphe 441 brush and mix these two shades to create my transition color. I'm just going to sweep it across my eye, nothing too dramatic, and I'm going to be sure to avoid going above my brow bone. Then I'm going to use this pretty shimmer shadow for my lid to create some contrast. And after I've applied that shadow, I'll be sure to come back with that same 441 brush and blend out the edges with that transition color I created. Now it's time for liner. I'm gonna start at the beginning of my eyelid and draw my line about halfway through my lid. I'm then gonna come to the outer edge of my eye at the top to create the outline for the tail. And then once I've created that line on the top, I'm gonna create one similar on the bottom and make it meet the one at the top to create that point. And then from here, all you have to do is just fill it in simple it's gonna take a lot of practice it took me a while to get to this point so don't fret just practice practice because practice makes perfect Once we're finished with the liner, we're going to add a little inner corner highlight and then start on the face. Now I have a line across my nose that's a little black and I prefer to hide it. So in order to do that, I'm going to use my orange corrector and I'm going to apply it and blend it out. And once it's blended, I'm going to add my Laura Mercier translucent powder on top to just make it completely vanish. Now for foundation, I had to mix two of them so it might look like a lot of product, but I used what totals out to be about one pump. Um, this brush does pick up a lot without soaking it up, so yeah. But as you know, I blend with a sponge and then I'm going to blend it all out with a brush. Once I finish with my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlight. And once I'm finished applying it to make sure it stays in place and kind of, you know, lasts through the night, I'm going to just let it sit for about two minutes before I blend it out. And then once I blend it out, I'm going to, of course, bake and set with my Juvia's Place setting powder. And I'll be using the shade Gobi. excuse me I don't know what I was watching I believe it was like Bridgerton or something but I was really into it so I had to dip into this powder for that first side like four or five times don't make fun of me please <laughs> Once all the setting powder has been dusted away, I'm going to go ahead and bronze. Just, you know, my cheeks, chin, forehead, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to use my bronzer to contour my nose as well. I just personally don't like using the heavier contour powders or creams and stuff. And then once I'm through with my nose, I am going to give the look a little bling bling and add some highlight. I decided to do a close up and show you how I apply my lashes as well. So um, after I apply the glue and let it dry a little bit, you know, not all the way, 
I'm gonna use my applicator to place my lash right on my lash line. Now your lash line is a spot where your real lashes and your eyelid meet. So of course, just be sure not to glue the spot where your real eyelashes and lid meet. You know, don't get glue all over your eyelashes and don't glue your eyes shut. You might not get this the first time and that's okay. Just practice. Once you're done, add mascara and then girl go add you a gloss. And honey, you're all glammed up. You all cute and you're ready sweet. Well, if you learned something today, please like the video or leave a comment. I sped it up a bit, so if any of this is too fast, feel free to click your gear on the screen and slow it all down. Thanks, you guys. Toodles.